Hi, this is Mr. Hawthorne signing on with, well, you can see it on the screen, Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. Now, I'm going to be playing this game, and I am going to have some stipulations set up for myself to make it interesting. Because I've beaten this game multiple times with mages, uh, heavy weapons, dexterity builds, you name it, I've probably done it. I've logged all over 500 hours, I think? Yes, 513 hours. I have a couple PvP setups going on. And I was doing a Grant R2 only hacked run. Um, that was interesting. Uh, essentially what I was doing was... I set it up so that my character could use the Grant. A giant hammer, a great hammer class weapon, with a very special two-handed R2. It's essentially Wrath of the Gods. Your character holds the... Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll show you. I will show you what this does. It is hilarious. Let's hope I'm not dead. No, okay. So, one-handed, it's just a heavy attack. It's, you know... Yeah. And then, two-handed... Boom. However, it burns the durability. You can see the durability down there. Uh, 400 out of 600. That means you would only get three shots normally. And what I did with this was essentially... Boom! Oh! oh. No armor. Grant R2 only. Yeah. Yeah. Lots and lots of damage. Requires 50 strength and 30 faith, and that's only stats I have, and that was the only stats I was planning on having for this character. That's probably gonna get restarted as soon as I get the software that I need again. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what I use because a lot of people will use it for cheating, uh, making it so that they can't die, infinite stamina, give themselves items, um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, today I will be doing a uh, what was it, um, no armor run, I think I had an SL1 run going, uh, bugger, hold on, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do, um, nail class, <sighs> grr, I don't know what I should do, um, Hmm. Let me think for a little bit. Um, I should have thought of that out before. Um, I'm not going to be using armor, that's for sure. But do I want to give myself the ability to use a shield? Yes, because this game requires a shield. I could do a no shield armor run, but... Eh. Warrior, gift... Uh, master key, just make things easier, face... No, let's stick with the... Actually, hold on. There we go. No, it's... Actually... Uh... Let's do great. Um... There we go. Except, hold on, hold on. Doesn't the Wanderer start? No. Okay. Cleric starts with spells, but... No, I'm, go I'm going warrior. I'm going warrior. Warrior. Um, I honestly have no idea what I'm going to be doing. I don't remember this game too much. Uh, all I remember is that this is a difficult as hell game. And, yeah, I'm going to skip through that since, well, essentially what it is, is a group of beings found a bunch of stuff, uh, powerful lord souls, 
killed a bunch of dragons, and established their own kingdom. Now the fire is dying, and you have to do something about it. Yeah. Uh, I think I might not do DLC, since that always confuses me on how to actually get to it, and yeah. So, yeah. I might do, like, what, I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, what I do know is that I'm gonna be setting up a... I might do Tarkus. I might set up Tarkus, but that's a very difficult to run build, in all honesty. Um, no. Uh, I, th I think I'll just do... Not a strength build. I think I'll do a quality build, in all honesty. Get the Great Scythe early on. Um, I honestly don't know. Um, so, yeah. I can, I can beat this game in about three hours, not gonna lie, um, it's incredibly difficult, but I have done it before, uh, I might do speed runs of this, but we will see. No! Anyways, uh, wait, no, wrong one, wait, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm unequipping everything! No, nope, I'm just kidding. Um... One of the things about this game is you're going to want a shield with 100% physical resistance. Um, the reason I started Soldier... What did I start? Hold on. It says it right... Well, you guys know what I started as. That class starts with a 100% resistance shield. Physical resistance. Um, simply because a lot of the enemies have only physical attacks and such... So, yep, and I skip through all the text because I do that. There's running attacks, there's jumping attacks, um, strong attacks, there's light attacks. Uh, you can parry, but I don't, I can never parry. Um, you, there's the two-handed arc. Okay, um... Okay, so, I have no idea what I'm doing. That's been established. And, yeah. I, I, I know where all the enemies are, in all honesty. It's just been a while since I've actually played. So, I may be real derpy. See, I don't like that. I'm gonna have to change my stats instantly and get higher quick load, because that fat roll, or that mid roll, is not nice to me. Also, my frame rates are dropping for some reason. I think it's just the game running s I thought you were dead. Uh, I think it's just the game running slow, because it doesn't like my computer or something. Uh, I'll, I'll fix it. <laughs> And the Asylum Demon, which I bypassed. Ooh! Did I get a double hit? No, I didn't. Let's rotate. Oh, bugger. Give me good RNG, please. I would love it if you gave me good RNG. You're not giving me good RNG! Oh. Please, no. No! No! Okay, so, this is the Asylum Demon, the first boss, not that difficult, in all honesty. Um, however, if you have no idea what you're doing, this can be an incredibly difficult fight. Um, yeah, the first boss, an incredibly difficult fight that I made look like a cakewalk. Yup. Um... Yeah, no, um, this game is difficult. Uh, the only reason I'm doing so well so far is because I know what to expect. If you wait too long on the platform up there, he will jump up and slam you 
down to the ground. That platform up there? He will destroy that platform. Ooh. Do you hear that? The little footsteps? We'll get back to that later. Remember those footsteps when we come back here. Because we will be coming back here. I'm going to be taking on all of the bosses of the regular game. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All bosses. I'm not going to do um, all bosses, just all bosses of the stock game. Only in the ancient. Okay, just going to skip all the stuff because honestly, I've seen it so many times, and if you're watching this, you know what you're getting already. Oh dear lord, um, Jesus, okay, <laughs> wow, frame rate can go eat itself, wow, okay, um, ouch, that kind of hurts, um, hopefully it's not looking too bad for you guys, I did increase the, um, The, uh... I forget what it's called. The, uh, graphical fidelity... No, not fidelity. Uh, the, the, uh, brightness, brightness. The brightness of, uh, Dark Souls for you. Um... Hold on. Do I want to do the, the OP run? Yeah, I'm gonna do the run. Okay, so... What I call the OP run is essentially grabbing all the items in the starting area and then the Great Scythe. Uh, the, the first weapon I got really good with in this game is is the Great Scythe. Uh, it has massive range, it's got a devastating sweet spot. Um, like, this game is interesting. It has very defined hitboxes. Um, even though I rolled through like half the attacks that the freaking guy gave me. No, I'm not gonna get the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The, um, Great Scythe today. I'm just gonna get things through natural progression. Except for this first area. I'm gonna grab all the items I can right here. Ooh. Mm, mommy, please. I may die here. Oh shit, I forgot to sell my souls. Um, come on, I'm doing good, I'm doing good, no, oh, I'm dead, no I'm not, I'm just kidding, I'm dead, <laughs> oh, oh, you died, yeah, uh, I remember dying the first time, it gives you an achievement, I think. Hold on, I can actually check. Uh, I don't, wait, where is it? Hold on. Oh, the Bonfire Flame is the first one. We have white... Huh. There is not an achievement for dying in this game. Well then. Um, I guess that's a thing. Um, yeah, no. Uh, that was my first death. Yay, I died doing derp. And meet your second best friend. She she reinforces your uh yeah, Estes class. She however cannot speak. Yay! Um where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I here? Oh yes, I'm gonna go get the cleric oh, shit, hold on. I fucking Yes, there we go. The Way of the White, which I'm going uh -huh. to join. Because... Let me talk. Give me the token. There we go. 
Yes. Very well. And I'm gonna abandon you later. Yes. Okay, um... This is the covenant I'm gonna be in for the most part of the game because it gives really nice benefits whenever no. someone only... increases the power of a bonfire. Uh, it has the possibility of giving you an extra Estus flask. Yeah, not that great, but in the long run, I've had an extra Estus flask save my life. You can only get up to a maximum of 20 Estus flasks without using hacks. And if you do a commuter co your computer monitor will fly into your face. Yes, that's a thing. Oh, and in this game, uh, there's actually a very easy way to tell mimics from non-mimics. You see that? It's really hard to see. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna... I need to equip this, don't I? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, is this one better? No, it's not. Is this one better over here? Okay. Um, I might just... Yeah, I'm gonna just show you on this one. Come on, give me the binoculars. Okay. That little chain right there... That chain means that it's a regular chest. However, if it's the other way, if the chain is pointed towards you, it means that the chest is a mimic. Um... Yeah, no, it's the very, very tiny details in this game that can completely mess you up. And I'm gonna try to get my souls back, because there's another item over here that I want to get. Oh, I got stuck. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh, I think I'm boned. Where are my Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Please make it out, please. Please, please, please. Let me make it. Oh, wait, hold on. There's an item over here, if I remember correctly. No, there is not. There is just dead ends galore. Whoopsie daisy. <gasps> okay. <laughs> and he jumped off the cliff. Another 50 souls for me. Come on, 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 come on. Get back to the bonfire, get back to the bonfire. <sighs> Okay, um, endurance? Yes, endurance. Alright. So, here's the level of screen. Vitality affects your health. Attunement affects your attunement slots, the amount of spells you can use. Endurance affects your equipment load and stamina, I think. Strength affects your, well, strength. Dexterity affects, well, your dexterity and... Yeah. Resistance affects pretty much every stat. It gives the highest overall increase to your resistances and HP. Uh, intelligence affects magic. Faith affects spells. Also, intelligence affects um, hexes. But, yeah. Um, the reason I was so eager to get back here is because enemies in this game will follow you for quite a distance. I've had skeletons follow me all the way down here before, and it's a pain in the ass, because they don't leave. You have to... There's two ways to reset the position of enemies in this game. Get to a bonfire, or save and quit. Boom. Now, that has been me doing... Oh, bugger, I should have done Norm. I forgot to take off my armor. Whoops. Please don't yell at me. Um, for the rest of the videos, it'll be no armor run. Um, I hope you enjoyed. That was the first episode of Dark Souls. The Prepare to Die edition. And as always, hope you have a nice day. And uh, this is Mr. Hawthorne, signing off.